From the YouTube dogs, this is week now, the Daily Mueller, and now, man, who has the answer to the burning question, who on earth is Kiera Knightley? Mr. Ellie Cunny Mueller. Ha! Fuck a week now, I am Ellie Cunny Mueller, with the Thomas I shout out to NSR, our A service is fan edits. Once again, for that comes from her wheels for that, and supercar for that, all things automobiles, and weekend dog show with the streams, although we're not really sure if they're still doing streams because I think the last time they've done a stream was I think last year or something like that who knows at this point but anyway I'm glad you could make it for uh what's right to start again so I'm glad you made, made it over here this is going to be a fun show Really fun show, and here comes Adam right now. Go on out, Adam. Because tonight's program is all about Kiera Knightley. What happened to her? I haven't heard from her since Selena Gomez left Disney. You know what I mean? That Selena Gomez mentioned her uh, quite a bit on Wizards of Waverly Place, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she's already getting ready for Christmas. She has a new movie out entitled Silent Night. What the? Can you wait until November 29th? Please. You might know her from love, actually. But here's the thing. She was 18 years old when she did that. Hold up. Now she's about to retire. Come on. Can somebody please store her a bone for crying out loud? She's broke. Apparently Hollywood stopped paying her. But apparently Adam's a little late, so I bring you MP, Mr. Bones, and another top eight list. Trust me, this one actually makes sense. Category Top 8 Kieran Knightley movies that nobody saw. Number 8 Mashed Up. Number 7 Cooked In. Number 6 You've Been Goose. Number 5 Stop. Number 4 What? Number 3 Are You Serious? Number 2 Are You Awake? And Number 1 Get Some Sleep. Boy, thank you. Let's talk about it in uh, talking time uh, the next time. But first, these commercials. I'll be back after this. Spring is here. And <coughs> Spring! Classics, Nick at Night, no fatty acids, powerful TV, but you can count on Nick at Night. Is that the best price you can get on good carpeting? I don't know for sure, but I don't see how anybody could do any better. Especially when you consider what that $6.95 gets you besides nice carpeting. It gets you polyfoam padding, professional installation, free Bissell rug shampoo with two rooms, and with credit, no installment payment for 60 days. What else can we throw in? <coughs> how about one free t-shirt with any order? Five eighty two three hundred empire. Good deal? If pure... My goodness, welcome back to the show, and now it's time for everybody's favorite segment. Let's talk about it. Slash talking time. Yes. 
。哎，等你把我等你见面。Let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is that time. Time when everybody huddles around the campfire and talks. That's right. You know what? Talk to talk, walk to walk, squawk to squawk. You know what I mean, right? And as I don't like to say, when it is 8.08 or 18.08 or 9.08 or Something oh wait. You know what that means, don't you? Talking time! That's right! Talking time, talking time, English, French, or even French. Talking time, talking time, you only do it for sadness. <laughs> I thought you were missing this segment again! They're not coming? Oh boy, I already sung the other theme song. Anyway, tonight we're talking about Kiera Knightley. That's right. You know, which apparently begins principal photography in the UK next week. You know, she's uh, going to be in the cast in the movie along with Roman Griffin Davis, Matthew Good, Annabelle Wallace, Lily Rose Depp, you know, and a bunch of other people. Now, this film is being directed by Camille Griffin, who's making her directorial, uh, directorial feature film debut from her original screenplay. Now, the festive uh, comedy will focus on an extended family having a Christmas dinner in a country setting. Now, wait a minute. Just, um, over here. Yeah, that's better. Now, here's the thing, alright? Oh, so they announced it, you know, last month. Oh, wait a minute. Mo that was on um, February 12th. Okay, and they said next week. I mean, that was around uh, my birthday. Meaning, they had already begun uh, principal ph photography and it's already on the verge of, you know, actual production. You know, and Lucy Punch had just joined the cast. So, who cares? Alright? You know, the movie will probably not be out for at least another two years. You know, and we're only hearing about this now. Only hearing about this now. I mean, seriously. This is getting old. This is literally getting old. You know what I mean? Well, with that being said, let's talk about her, uh, her, uh, her Love Actually uh, film. Now, her and uh, the age, the age got between her and her co-star, Thomas Brody Sangster. That's right. You know, is ridiculous, right? Now, Kyo is 18 years old when she played Juliet, a newlywed who was stalled by amorous impulses from Mark Andrew Lincoln, the best friend of her husband Peter, played by uh, AJI 04, right? It also involved a child named Sam, who was played by Sangster, who was 13 when it was released, trying to get the attention of his crush, uh, Joanna, who was played by uh, Olivia Olsen, who was then 11 years old. Confused? Yeah. But here's the thing, alright? Madeline Madel Lloyd Jones said that there's a yearly reminder that there is only a five year age gap between Sangster and Knightley in Love Actually. And of course, he is absolutely right. You know, because now, Sangster is 29, and Knightley, even though we, even though we usually don't uh, talk about women's age, but for the sake of this uh, article, we will. 
is 34 years old. But, but of course, a lot of people didn't believe that it was true. Even though some people knew that it was true. And they all had to use Google. Wow. Just when you thought that Google couldn't uh, get you out of certain situations, it ended up uh, getting you out of that game. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, long story short, this is just a weird story for a really weird show. <laughs> well, I guess this is one of the main reasons why this is not like any other late night show. That's the thing, huh? <laughs>